I show you how to use uh, reclass here with the salt cube. I got my cheat engine table open to assist with this. Um, so we're attached to the process. We want to start with the local player. Um, now we know this is our pointer to the local player. So we're going to take the value out of that. That's already in hex. So that's the address of our local player. We're going to put it into the address field. We are going to name this um, player. I actually, this is my old reclass. It has everything filled out. So I can just use that as a reference. Um, I have several classes mapped out here. Um, but so let's just start with this. So we know that the first... Uh, thing here is the first thing is going to be the V table. Um, so also we need to increase the size of this. So let's add a thousand bytes. Um, this is the V table. So this is like the modify section. You can. Uh, this is going to be a pointer to the V table. So I don't have a class for that, but. Uh, We'll just say that. We see these first three things. Uh, it's default. It's always going to display the hex here, the float here, the integer here. And then sometimes if it's pointing to like an offset or an address, it'll list it here. So <clears throat> I like to keep these as, obviously this is a vector. I see three floats in a row, so that's obvious. You can see them everywhere too. You can see them here, here, uh, maybe here. So this is a VEC3, that's the player of the head, uh, that's the player's head location. So we name it head. Um, these are all zeros, so we're just going to skip it. I don't know what this is, but they, it does lo look at it, you can tell obviously like, okay, so this is a float. Do, would it make sense as an integer? No. Does, does it make sense as a hex? Is that a, is that an address? Not really. Is it an address that we're used to seeing? No. So this is probably a float. So I'll just go ahead and mark it float. You know, 8.000, that makes a lot more sense than that number. So that's a float. That's a float. I'm not sure on these. Um, this is probably a float. Those are all floats. Uh, that's probably a float, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not sure. Because um, also these this... This assumes that they're all four byte representations, but they may not be. Uh, they could be break. You could read it as a byte or or a word or whatever it may be. Um, so 37.5, we see that everywhere. 100 right here. That's probably our health or our armor, right? Um, actually, it's been a while since I worked on salt cube, so I'm not sure. So, let's see what we can do here. 37. Uh, we see 37.5 here. I don't think that's it. Isn't F8 the health address? Where the hell is F8? Yeah, if you look down at F8, there we go. 37 and it's an integer. Those 37.5s you're seeing were floats. So that's an integer. Obviously, that's health. I usually just scan through real quick, see if I don't see something important here. I would say right here we have 40 and we have 20. And if you look here, we have 20 and we have 40. So I'm going to say that's our ammo. Um, so let's just mark it as in. And not quite sure uh, assault rifle ammo 2 that's the ammo in the clip this is assault rifle ammo 1 potentially I don't really know if they are or not you know make some fair guesses and then test them later um, again if these things make sense I will mark them but I can tell I haven't committed to this that that's an integer because I've left I've left that the default uh, name. So we can see my name here. So 
right. Let me see. And Amanda Rake, that's a char. Except it's not that one. We need to set a bite. And then, so there was, it's offset. There must have been a bite here with some value. And then Animator Rake starts here. So, and we're going to use ASCI. I believe that the default size for this is 16. Let's check that. What did I write in my old one? Uh, name 16. Yeah, so uh, in the source code, you can see the maximum number of chars, and this is 16. So, we'll keep looking here. Also, it, it'll go back to uh, 4 byte, or it should at least, not positive. How do we do that? Okay, we can't do that. Wonderful. Um, let's see. This just looks like a bunch of crap. This looks like a pointer to a weapon. As we can see here, um, so let's test when we shoot what happens. Okay, so we definitely have assault rifle too. It's obvious it's changing. Um, we have this value, which is an integer, and it's changing when we're not shooting at zero. When we are shooting at 120. Okay, so that sounds like the number of milliseconds that you have to wait before the gun shoots again. If you use the pistol, um, the same thing. Ooh, so we have pistol ammo here. That's the ammo one will be in the clip. And then we have the amount. You can see that 160, 1636. So again, that's like the gun wait time. Uh, for the pistol, pistol weight, and we can see so it's always 160 when you shoot. When you reload, it's it's a much larger number. So back to the assault rifle. Okay, assault rifle weight. It's like the reload time, the wait time. I don't know what you want to call it. So 41 and 40. Let's see what those values are. is 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So that is, I don't know what it is, a uh, number of shots, maybe. Alright, so let's see what else we can find here. Uh, not really seeing anything else. We gotta find locations still. These three values, I have no idea what those are right now. Um, what's angles? If we just move around uh, the mouse, you'll see the angles moving, but not the location. So this is definitely a vector of our angles. And then we have, we're going to jump, so we're going to see the z-axis moving. Okay, lots of things are moving. But what ones that like stay constant? Like the, so, the X and the Y those stay the same when I jump. But the Z increases. So that's definitely our location, position, whatever you want to call it. Um, then we have velocity, uh, rotation velocity or angular velocity. What changes like crazy when we move the mouse around? nothing. Then we have the velocity when we move forward, left, and right, our character. So, I'm going to say though that's one, two, three vectors. One, let's say there's a vector here, a vector there, and a vector here. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Actually, I'm not sure about this one. Okay. So. But we definitely have several vectors here. Which one is only going to move the Z? It's definitely velocity. Um, jumping on the Z changes these two, definitely. Um, so again, I don't commit to these things. I'm just, you know, you got to do later testing. Um, we can see when we jump, there's a few different numbers changing. For instance... Uh, this is one when we're standing and zero when we're jumping. So this is like B jumping. If it's one, it's false. If it's zero, it's true. Um, you know, that may be a state. It could be an animation state. It could be anything, really, so we'll just test it later. Um, what else? We have a 256. Um, it's zero when you're jumping. Again. Uh, so, again, that's an integer. Be jumping. I don't know. We'll figure it out as time goes on. You can see there's these two values that keep changing as you move around. I'm not sure what those are. But let's find the weapon. What's our current weapon is the pistol. So this one will be a little bit more difficult to locate. Um, let's look at my class I already made here. Um, what other variables did we find? We had the head, location, view angles, uh, a thing to test if we're scoping or not. We have the health and the armor. Okay. Um, a B attacking bool, a name, a team, state, a current weapon pointer. So let's look at that for example. 374. Offset 374, we see, is right here. We're going to make that a pointer. Uh, leave it as hex. Alright, so. If we change guns, we see it changes. You see, we have three things that are swapping here. So, like, one of them is um, your your next gun, your current gun, and the last gun you held. Something like that. Or primary, secondary, who knows. But we do know that 374, right? 374 is our current weapon pointer. So, we see that 374 changes. Let's make that a pointer. What kind of class is it? Uh, we're going to call this current weapon. What kind of class is it? Uh, it'll automatically create this class, uh, 456, for us. Pop that open, and let's increase the size of it. Um, so, 18 in the clip, 17. Uh, ammo otherwise so this is gonna be the name a pointer to the name um, t -t -t fuck. six I'm not sure what the six means not so convinced of this weapon pointer after all uh, Offset 374 is a pointer to the current weapon, which is at 2681A30. That's actually in our player class. So this is just a pointer to the current weapon, but the weapons are actually in our class. 2681A30. 1A30.
No, it's not. Anyway, so you go through here, you test all your uh, variables, you name what you can, figure out everything that you need. Obviously, in this one, uh, I had uh, classed every single variable, but for for my hack, I only needed these, so I just trim it down. Um, let's look now at the current weapon pointer, right? We have, we'll expand that, we'll see it's pointed to a weapon, and then here are the weapon, uh, the ID, that's the number of the current weapon. Let's actually just test this address out. Alright, so now we see, we're well, good, we have the head, location, view angles, B scoping, health, armor, and again, you can change the stuff right in here. You want to add armor, boom, there you go, armor. Change your health, thank you. So, my name, that good stuff, current weapon pointer, pointer to the weapon. We have, again, this is like probably a V table uh, pointer. We have the weapon ID is six, and we can change our weapon, and it will point to a different, you can see the addresses are changing. Uh, so the ID of the pistol is one. This is a pointer to the owner. I could just tell, I you know, immediately that that address was the same as my player address. The gun info pointer, which is another class, which I didn't need to, uh, I didn't need to reclass it. I didn't need it. A pointer to your ammo, which is says four. Uh. Not sure what that means. I didn't re I didn't choose to reclass that either. Uh, mag ammo pointer. Again, so there's a weapon struct somewhere that contains all this information. These are just pointers to it. Just an easy way for the game to access it. Uh, and then there's uh, reloading and and the number of shots you fired. Let's look at this. Yeah. And then for reloading. I don't even have, but anyways, so you do all that shit, then you go to generate, and it's going to generate all your classes that you have made, okay, here's my old player entity class I made, blah blah blah, so you copy and paste this and you paste it into your hack, so now we're going to look at my uh, assault cube hack, I have my class player entity, my class weapon, taken straight from reclass, and I pasted it in. And then we have to see where do I sign uh, a player entity to find our local player. So now we see uh, player entity pointer named local player, which is pointing to uh, this address, which is, it's a pointer to the local player. Um, Reference as a D word pointer and then cast to a player entity pointer. And then when you want to access this stuff, like here, you just make a pointer to it. It's easy as that.